morning everyone, Kidashi here and welcome back to my channel. So, today I'll be hiking the Bukit Kleda. It's been a while since I came back here in April. I think around 4-5 months ever since my sem semester 2 started. So glad to be back during the sem break. And yeah, right now I'm halfway there. As you guys can see just now, the radio tower is right up there. So, halfway there. <laughs> One. Get off your couch, get off your sofa, uh, off your chair, off your bed, anything, and start working out, start exercising. It doesn't matter what kinds of exercise, jogging, running, swimming, basketball, badminton, whatever it is, start exercising, get off your couch. The second one is to try and find a time, free time, or any time that uh, uh, is beneficial to work out like you can try waking up early in the morning and start going out for a jog working out doesn't matter whether it's the distance or the time it's about your mentality your consistency and your determination third running up here you gotta have the correct technique of uh, running running uphill like say your legs there are two kinds of uh, ways you can hike first one is power hike power hiking is essentially uh, putting one leg in front of another like far apart and you try pushing with your lead foot this is what you call power hiking it's a slow uh, second way of running up here is to uh, small steps, small but quick steps. This is uh, the second way of running up here. As you can see here, my strides are quite uh, short, but I, I'm, what I'm doing is that I'm pushing upwards instead of forward. So this is a small thing. Quads instead of the glutes. So it depends on your endurance, your kinds of muscle group, and uh, how tired are you. So normally, what I would do is I would like do a short sprint up the hill. After that, do a power hike to try and catch my breath in the meantime. But it's best if you mix up both of them because I would say they will use similar but not the, the, the main same muscle group. Number four, how to breathe properly. Uh, sometimes you could do like, say while you are running, you can be two steps in, uh, inhale, two steps exhale. Or you could three steps inhale, three steps exhale. It depends on you, depends on everyone. So I say, I'm running. I would do like two steps in, in two steps out. Something like that. Or three steps in, three steps out. Okay, that is tip number four on how to breathe correctly. The fifth tip that I want to say is always do stretching or a warm up before a hike because you wouldn't want to be cramming up on the mountain. Because why? Why is it bad? Because a mountains, it uh, usually is uh, incline, 
a, a steep hill upwards so you don't really have any flat ground to work with to stretch your muscles so it's best to start warming up start stretching at the bottom of the hill before hiking and yeah I've been to many mountains before Expedition Kobugayo, Expedition Liang, Raja and out of all these mountains the first two was the worst experience to me because I didn't have enough warm up I didn't warm up my muscle quite much as to start as to start hiking so tip number five always do a warm up stretches before hiking number six always always stay hydrated uh, like you can drink water the day before or like 30 minutes before uh, your hike your run because being, staying hydrated is very very important to our exercise if, if not your body will lack of water and start going through dehydration where you wouldn't want it but what what why is water so important because I guess everyone knows that while exercising our body are constantly uh, re uh, removing excess water through like sweat keep on sweating so our body are constantly losing water so we have to make up for that by drinking more water uh, before during and after the hike yeah that's tip number six tip number seven is head to the washroom the bathroom uh, toilet whatever you call and do your business there by business I mean literary key because you don't want to uh, start hiking and midway through you have to go to one side and nature's core so it's best if you can settle everything before you start hiking the thing is that we gotta open up the chest instead of slouching uh, back you try and open up your shoulder and allow your track here to open up to allow more air to enter your lungs Finally, we are at the peak of the hill. Whew. Feels good. And here we are at the peak of Bukit Kredang. Took me one hour to reach the peak, and I was not quite a good run because I was not uh it's been a while since I last hiked quite a steep mountain I would say steep because I think at one point the incline was around 10 15 percent oh never felt this good before the air up here is so fresh because you're out of the city there's uh, lesser vehicles most of them are trees the nature oh how I love nature so much Ah, uh, the air we're breathing so fresh right up here and too bad I missed the sun sunrise but you guys can see oh. <sighs> so yeah 7 6.38 km up the mountain and soon uh, I'm going to take 5 for a while before I start uh, starting the descent down back down to the car park and yeah see you guys back at the car park this here is testing me my legs are jelly right now I'm gonna do some stretching before I head back. A great run over. The weather was nice, not too hot. 
And yeah, see you guys at home. Great run, guys. Great run. Overall, today's run was a solid run. Weather was good. The hill was great. It's been a while since I went back there. The question that I want to ask you guys today is that have you guys ever went hiking before? If yes, comment down below on what hill you have hiked before. If by chance, I might hike there before. Or if not, I could go back there and check it out one day. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching my video. Thank you again for sticking with me throughout this whole video. And also, don't forget to comment down below on uh, the question of the day. And if you like it, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.